Hello everyone, this is Anonymous. We have some big breaking news for you today about Quantum TV. He has been arrested. That is correct. He was arrested on April 14th of this month. And he was arrested for two counts. One count was domestic violence. And the other count was obstruction. So let's, let's go over the charges and what this actually means. Um, uh, we, we got the police report. And in the police report, what the officer says, um, and by the way, this is all public record. This is this is 100% uh, authentic. This was actually found out by Rambo Tweedy, a, a good member in our Discord, who actually found all this information and got it out to everybody. So uh, a shout out to Rambo. Um, so of course, this is all alleged. You know, until somebody is found guilty. It is an alleged charge. So let's go over what the officer had to say. Um, he said that um, uh, Quantum, whose real name is Jermel Dace. That's right. This is public record. And as such, you have no privacy on your name. So let's definitely cover that. So what did Jermel do? Well, he wanted to put his hands on the victim, the victim being his wife in this case. Um, we will not be using her name. We don't do that. We don't do what he did to me and call out my wife's name. So, um, but, so what happened was she had her phone snatched out of her hands by uh, Quantum, by Jermel. The offense was subsequent to his wife attempting to move funds from her uh, bank account. She attempted to use uh, Quantum's phone moments later, but he deprived her from using his phone as well. So she uh, informed Quantum that she was going to call law enforcement if he did not provide her with a cell phone. But, of course, he refused to comply. Um... And this is the really messed up part. She wound up sustaining some small lacerations on her hand as a result of this incident. She uh, also refused to complete a sworn written statement on a domestic violence paperwork. So it doesn't look like she's going to press charges. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because the state of Florida will prosecute. And this is a felony. So, um, so it looks like his, uh, his arraignment will happen next month on May 30th. And in, a, in arraignment, they will go over the charges of domestic violence and obstruction of justice. And he will plead guilty or not guilty or no contest. So if, if he winds up ple pleading uh, not guilty, it will go to a trial. And it looks like the trial date would be on October 6th of this year. So we might be seeing a trial. Um, he was in jail for a few days after being arrested. And he was uh, put out on bail for $500. And uh, it's been reported that his wife bailed him out of jail. R really sad situation for somebody that's going through domestic violence and... I, I plead I plead with her to get away from this guy. We've been saying for a long time, this guy is off his rocker. This guy's crazy. He's made all sorts of different threats to people, including Act Man and his mother. And I, I really hope that she gets some help and gets out of this situation. But moving on, what's going to basically happen here is the maximum prison sentence varies from one year in jail to five years or more for these crimes. However, the minimum jail sentence is the same across the board. So no matter what happens, um, if convicted, uh, a first offense, um, he could have a year or maybe five years or more. So this could be extremely bad if he doesn't plead it out early. Um, there's also some other penalties for domestic violence charges. Let's go over those penalties. In addition to serving jail time, being convicted of domestic violence carries other penalties such as uh, he must complete a batterer's intervention program. That's good. 
I think we can all agree that quantum needs some counseling very seriously. Um, the judge may also require uh, for him to do community service hours. So, wouldn't that be neat to see him in his orange jumpsuit clean up all the trash? <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, his mugshot was released if you haven't seen it. Um, you could go over to the Discord or to my community tab in my page and, and see his uh, mugshot. Um, the other thing he would lose is he would also lose his concealed carry rights and his rights to own, own a firearm. As a convicted felon, you cannot own a firearm. <clears throat> and something that doesn't even say here, but you also subsequently lose your rights to vote. So, so quite a few things if he gets convicted here. I, I know we're all hoping that justice is served here. This guy has been a menace to the community for a long time. Um, I remember months ago when everything had seemingly died down about quantum. And there's people in my Discord continuing to talk um, about about him. And other people are saying, hey, why don't you guys just drop it? There's, there's nothing more to see here. And we said, but this guy is a threat. This guy is a serious threat, and he's going to hurt somebody. And that's not something you want to be, you know, found right on. So, it, it's just really a sad day. If you want to discuss anything more, we will be over on the Discord talking about it. So you're more than welcome to join for free. And uh, I have an open invitation to everybody. And uh, we'll discuss more there. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.